time to talk about modern table formats. You already know that they replace the traditional Hive format, but what do they really do differently, and how does this lead to increased functionality? Most of all, why are these table formats so different that they serve as the dividing line between data lakes and data lake houses? Let's learn how that happens. First things first, you know that Hive tables lack certain essential features, like acid compliance and version control. Modern table formats solve this problem. They come in three varieties, Iceberg, Delta Lake, and Hootie. Later in this lesson, we'll go through the differences between them, but for now, let's imagine them as largely filling the same space. These table formats are what make a lake house a lake house. It's really as simple as this. When you create a table using one of these formats, you have created a data lake house. And when you have Hive, you've created a data lake. Okay, we're getting somewhere, but how do these table formats work and what do they allow you to do? Simply put, a modern table format improves the way that data is structured and handled inside your lake house. They were developed to solve the challenges of performance, data modification, and schema evolution that proved limitations in the traditional data lake. In this way, the three table formats all achieve performance outcomes more commonly associated with databases or data warehouses, while using cloud object storage more like a data lake. This combination really serves to fill the gap and create a best of all worlds scenario. Data lake houses achieve this by making significant changes to something called the reporting structure. Let's take a closer look. Architecturally, a lake house is much like a data lake in certain ways. It still uses the same storage types as a data lake. It still ingests structured, semi-structured, and unstructured data like a data lake and it stores data in a raw format while keeping track of it using metadata, just like a data lake. But that's where the comparisons end. Data lakes only go so far in their storage of metadata. They retain information about where the data resides, its format, and its structure, but they don't retain a comprehensive end-to-end -end record of all changes made to a table. Lake houses fill this gap, storing large amounts of metadata and painting a comprehensive picture of the system. This includes record-by-record record details of every modification, every update, and every deletion made. This metadata is stored in a set of hierarchically structured files known as manifest files. These files capture changes in the state of the dataset, providing the ability to record an accurate, up-to-date account of the changes occurring in the table at any given time. The changes recorded are comprehensive, including data pertaining to inserts, deletions, updates, schema migrations, and partition updates. But how does all of this work? Let's walk through the way in which Iceberg uses manifest files to create a transactional layer on top of traditional data lake storage as an example. So in this example, data is held in the data layer in files. When a change is made, a manifest file is created that references a specific section of the data. Multiple manifest files are further referenced in a manifest list, which is contained in a metadata file. This data is then held in the iceberg catalog. As changes are made to the lake house, those changes are tracked in the corresponding manifest files and transferred to the iceberg catalog in real time. You can think of the metadata held in a lake house as a kind of database transaction log that sits on top of the traditional cloud object storage making up a data lake. Collectively, all of these manifest files create a kind of snapshot Iceberg calls them just that, snapshot files, and Delta Lake uses the Delta log in a similar way. These snapshots detail the points at which a change is made. Once in place, they operate as slices in time and can be used to query the database at a particular point in time, facilitate schema and partition evolution, or roll back any changes. What does this allow us to do? Modern table formats make the data lake house possible. The extra metadata allows for all the feature differentiation that makes a lake house different from a data lake, including record level updates and deletes, acid compliance, transactional support, and data concurrency support. As you move further in this module, remember that metadata makes the lake house a lake house.